The next section is on function operations. The three functions are given f of x, g of x, and h of x. We start with addition. f of x is x minus 3, and we are adding the function g of x to x minus 8. In this case, we are just combining like terms. I like to circle the variables, including the sign in front of them. We get 3x, and then that leaves the constants negative 3 and negative 8, which equals negative 11. Number 8, f of x minus g of x requires us, x minus 3, to use parentheses to show that we are subtracting the whole g of x function, 2x minus 8. I'd like to use keep change change, although this is not necessary. It might make it easier. Keep change the sign from subtraction to addition and change the sign of each term after that. Now again, combine like terms, x and negative 2x gives us a negative x. Negative 3 and positive 8 gives us a positive 5. Going on to number 5, this time we're multiplying f of x, x minus 3, using parentheses to show multiplication times 2x minus 8, and we're using what we sometimes call FOIL or double distribution. If you like to write in the arrows, I do find that they're helpful. The first term here multiplies both terms in the second parentheses, and then the second term will multiply each of the terms in the second parentheses so that we actually have four multiplications. x times 2x, is 2x squared. x times negative 8, normally written negative 8x. Negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24. Don't forget to combine your like terms. These two terms in the middle are both linear, and you get 2x squared minus 14x plus 24. Going on to number 10. Looks like we're running out of room, so I think what I might do is clear this up and start with a fresh screen. Okay? I am going to use the space available to me up here, so I'm going to rewrite my problem as x minus 3 over g of x, 2x, minus 8. Because there's no way to simplify this, this would be our final answer, except that we do want to discuss the domain. Knowing that the denominator cannot be equal to 0, we will set 2x minus 8 equal to 0 and solve for x to determine what value x cannot be. Add 8 to both sides. 2x equals 8, therefore x equals 4. We divided both sides by 2. If x equals 4, that would make our denominator equal to 0, which is not defined. So we want to state our answer, x minus 3 over 2x minus 8 with a domain of all real numbers except that x cannot equal 4. Going on to number 11. We're doing g of h of x, which is a composition of functions. Notice that the h of x function is substituted into the g of x function. What I like to do is write my g of x function, 2x minus 8, 
and it's the x that's going to get replaced. So I put parentheses around the x, and that's what's going to get replaced by h of x. So I'm going to rewrite it as 2 times x squared minus 2 minus 8. Go ahead and do the distribution of the 2 across the x squared minus 2. We get 2x squared minus 4 minus 8. Combining those two constants, 2x squared minus 12 would be our final answer. Going on to number 12, we have another composition, h of f of x, which means the f of x function is going to be substituted for x in the h of x function. I'll start by writing h of x, which is x squared minus 2. I'm going to put parentheses around the x because that's what's going to be replaced. And I'm going to substitute f of x in that place. I will therefore get x minus 3, the quantity squared, minus 2. I'd like to write out x minus 3 squared so that I don't make any mistakes. x minus 3 times x minus 3, noticing that that's a binomial times a binomial. Okay, I'm putting the arrows in there so that you see that it is four multiplications required there, but don't forget to subtract the two when we're done. Okay, one last step. Multiply using FOIL or double distribution. You get x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 and minus 2. Okay. One more time I'll write it out, combining those like terms. Final answer, x squared minus 6x plus 7.